Hey guys, it is Friday, April 17th, and I'm starting the vlog now because I got a package that I want to open. It's pins, more pins. It's not the other half of yesterday's shipment. It is the other shipment, the, the Bailey J Avatar ones. Wait, is it? What do I see baby in a box? Oh no, I just look like baby in a box a little bit. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god. Oh, oh, it's always so exciting seeing a new design. Okay, gotta set the camera down here. Woohoo, I didn't get scammed. <laughs> I mean, I was fairly certain. I was like, well, like I know someone else who uses this manufacturer. I just now I know next time don't send it, don't send the money via family and friends. Okay, so these are rose gold pins. My first time doing rose gold. Look, <laughs> cute, cute. I can hear Kiki getting into some plastic, and then it has the pink. Backings. It says Bailey J on it. He. Oh, she's a little baby blue. Is that to the beat of Jai Ho? Yes. I was playing that and just dance this That's morning. That's in my head. <laughs> Come here. My new pins are here. Oh, those are the U pins. Yeah. Nice. A little Bailey J. So I'm still waiting on one more box of pins. It's a lot of pins. <laughs> These are only the Christmas ones, Christian. Oh, then. So I'm still waiting on the one that has Thick Dino, Bimit in a Box, Kiki and Midman. I'm not sure if the camera's doing it justice on screen. It doesn't look quite the same, but this is such a vibrant pink. It looks good. Like, not neon, but just a good pink. Okay, time to go finally edit the vlog. Did I play Animal Crossing for two hours after the workout stream ended? Yes. What the frick is this? Look at there's little replies I can click for comments. Since when is this here? I usually check comments on my phone, so I'm not used to this. This is exactly what I would write the thank you so much with two exclamation marks. Like, does it know? I don't say stuff like you're the best. Not that it ain't true. I just don't think to say that kind of stuff. <laughs> like, for this one, there's hello, what's up, morning. <laughs> so interesting. It's three o'clock, by the way. At this point, I'm just gonna stay disgusting looking all day because why bother getting ready this late the day? I'm still gonna shower. I need my daily shower, but mm. So yeah, I got the vlog up while it was uploading and processing. I decided to tackle my car insurance stuff again because uh, the office where I get my insurance done is closed and they, they have a contact phone and email for for renewing your car insurance during this COVID stuff. And I emailed them four days ago. There's still no reply, but they're probably getting a ton of emails. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna call because like my insurance is expired now. This is kind of a timely thing. So I'm just gonna call and I phoned and their phone line was disconnected. And I was like, hmm, what? So I called a different office, even though it's like insurance companies handle your car insurance for you, your car insurance is all done through the same company because there's a literal monopoly on car insurance here in BC. It's all done through the government. And so so different insurance offices will do it for you, even if it's not the one you normally go to, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so I, I called another place and just did it over the phone. And there was kind of some back and forth with emailing, like consenting to do this over phone and like signing the official insurance documents, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, it's all it's all good now. It's all done. They even said they're gonna drop off my papers in my mailbox today around 6 p.m. I was like, oh, this feels like VIP service. Woo! So woo, yeah, I'm just glad it's all taken care of. I've also been checking my spam folders for all my email accounts. <laughs> oh, they it deletes stuff after 30 days, so I'm sure there's tons of stuff I've missed over the years in my spam folder because like I never check there. I only looked because they they mailed me like the the insurance people emailed me the form to sign and I was kind of waiting for it. I kept refreshing and it wasn't showing up. So I checked my spam folder and my spam folder was like 
sticker mule, sticker mule, sticker mule, sticker mule, sticker mule. And I was like, oh, no, no. <laughs> They've been trying to contact me and I just haven't seen any of their emails because they were in the spam folder. So they need you to review the the proofs for your sticker sheet and approve them. And they've been trying to get me to approve the proofs for days now. And one of my designs got rejected. So they, what they did is they increased the sticker sheet size to five by seven instead, because I don't know, I actually don't know why I asked for clarification because like, mm, I don't want the sticker sheet bigger. So I'll just, I'll modify the design to fit their standards. It was the video game sticker sheet that got rejected. So I think, I'm thinking maybe it's a little star sticker that's inside of the cat ear headset. I'm not sure. I just asked them to let me know because I'll just redesign it because I don't want to have one sticker sheet that's 4x6 and one that's 5x7. It's just, it's weird. Plus the 5x7 ones will cost more. So yeah, that's what I've been dealing with. I'm going to step away from all this now though and shower. Um, and I also have to check more emails like store emails i got an influx of those within the last 24 hours so i'm gonna check on those as well and get some stuff packaged up mm, apparently those things are called smart replies mm. okay it's a little while later we just got back from getting groceries i dropped off the packages and before we left i modified my sticker mule sticker design uh, I don't have an overlaid before and after. Um, okay. I can show you what Sticker Mule sent me. It's uh, it's slightly inaccurate because when they did this, they made my sticker cut lines the outside of the white. But when they sent me my proof, they didn't do that. Just whoever made me this kind of did that part wrong. Just showing like specific gaps they want between things and like how certain things need to be a certain width. But it's really weird because like this says it had a width of 0 0.709. It definitely did not. But I think it's because it's angled, so like the full width is maybe that long, but the actual Joy-Con is way skinnier than that. It's like 0. 0.3 inches. So everything has to be at least 0. 0.8 inch in width for the stickers. So what I did is these little stars, they're no longer stickers, they're just part of the background, and the Wiimote is gone. And then this Joy-Con, which is just one Joy-Con, I made it two, and they overlap. So that way it's not as small of a sticker. And everything is also just scaled down and spaced out a little bit more. So it fits a lot better now. Let me add just like a gray background or something. So yeah, that white part looks kind of thick, but it's actually this thick. It's actually half the thickness is the sticker because the rest of that is the background. There's white on the background. So yeah, that's, that's how close they actually are. So that should fit their requirements. Looks nice and good. So yeah, that's the new sticker sheet. And then the cute food one was approved. It was fine. She's a jungle king. Wow. It is now the next day. It's Saturday morning. I fell asleep on the couch at 9.30. That's why I'm still in my <laughs> shirt from yesterday. I did get up and move to bed when Christian went to bed. He woke me up. And so, yeah, that's good. Let's do the cat shame calendar. So for yesterday's... I am fat and greedy. I ate my breakfast five minutes ago and now I am waiting for my lunch. <laughs> but also, I relate. Okay. I am ashamed because I like to kill lizards and bunnies. I don't think that baby is ashamed at all. That baby proud. Even I can't really see. I guess her head is down in a shameful pose. Ugh. I just moved this plant back into the kitchen. It was right in the corner before, but then when we got the cat tree, I moved the plant over in that corner there. And it looks nice to have some greenery there, but maybe a fake plant would be better. It's just way out of the sunlight, and I miss having the greenery in here, so I moved it back, and so it could be in the sun. There was a piece of this that broke off when I was, I was trying to like wind the branches together once, because they start off all woven, but I think I was too late getting to it, or maybe you're just not supposed to wind it once it's older, I don't know. But like a chunk broke off here, but it's growing more here. We've got this little shoot here and this little one, so we're salvaging this piece, because there's three pieces, and like one piece completely broke off. And I felt horrible for poor Mr. Planty, but he's surviving. Okay, I'm showered now. Just putting my hair up because it's all greasy today. My roots look disgusting when I lift up my hair. Like, what? 
when my hair is down, you just see like this little section. When it's pulled up, it's like all brown. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, for all your suggestions and information on the last vlog. There was hair stuff and like the, the washi tape stuff. And some of you said that you have seen washi tapes with the person's logo printed on the inside. So it's definitely doable. So I'm gonna ask my manufacturer about that next time. Cause that's, that's the easiest solution is for it to just be done in the manufacturing process. Cause then I don't have to do anything. Like I received the washi tapes and they're ready to sell like that. That's the ideal way to go about it. So I'm definitely gonna ask them about that next time. I'm thinking of piercing this cartilage up here to match this one, especially since I part my hair in this side. So this is the ear that like, if I tuck my hair behind my ear on one side, it's this side. And so this should be the one that's pierced, not this one. So it might get the matching piercing one of these days. Once all this lockdown is over. So I just wanna mention some YouTube channels I've been obsessed with lately because I just am. I mean, I'm still obsessed with Kiki Chanel slash Kiki Meets World. She hasn't been posting many vlogs lately, but I'm hanging in there, I'm hanging in there. Other channels I recently came across like about a month ago. There's a string here. Yeah, um, about a month ago, at least for Christine McConnell's channel, I found her about a month ago. And I watched all her YouTube videos. There aren't a whole lot because she hasn't been posting consistently to YouTube until just recently. She actually had a Netflix show before this, which I didn't know about until I found her on YouTube. So I've also watched all the episodes in her Netflix show, <laughs> which was sadly canceled. Ugh. But anyway, she posts like once a month, once every three weeks, or I don't know, like she doesn't post that often, but her videos are just so well made. Like she's a cameraman and the editing is nice. And it's just everything from like her aesthetic to her mannerisms. She does lots of DIY stuff. She has this house that's like totally decked out to be sort of vintage-y looking like a ye olden days. <laughs> really bad at explaining things, but she also has a very Halloween-y aesthetic with her videos. Like it's like Halloween year round on her channel. It's very cool. She does all kinds of things like DIYs and baking, restoring things like she does so much insane crafting stuff. Like she'll take an old couch and make it look like a really cool vintage couch and stuff. And I'm like, what the heck, man? I'm obsessed. And <laughs> other channels I found shortly after hers. Well, I, first, I came across doing it ourselves and the thumbnail said doing it ourselves. And there's a picture of a castle. And I was like, I'm interested. <laughs> so I click on it and it's about these people who are restoring this old chateau and I'm like, oh my God, like I want to live in a chateau. <laughs> I'm just living vicariously through this channel. And then in the comments on that video, they mentioned this other channel. It's like a friend of the doing it ourselves channel. And um, it's Stephanie's channel, Chateau Diaries. And she has her own chateau. And I'm just like, oh my God, like I want a chateau. <laughs> Okay, her, she has a video where it's like, oh, how I bought a chateau at age 29. And she was saying she bought it for like, it was 590,000 euros, which is like a little over a million Canadian dollars. The houses here in Vancouver cost a million Canadian dollars. So I'm like, dude, for the price of a house here, I could have a chateau in France. <laughs> Those usually are ones that need restoring, like they're old and decrepit and need intense amounts of work, but like, between Christine McConnell's DIY stuff and these Chateau DIY things, and now Animal Crossing where you're like decking out your house. Like I'm just, I feel like I need to decorate a house. We don't own this house, we're just renting. So we can't really do much with it, but man. Even if we were allowed to make modifications, I wouldn't want to invest too much time into some place. I'm not gonna stay long-term obviously, but. So yeah, I just, I have this bug to do all kinds of like DIY things now and just like, other creative pursuits other than drawing. I'm just like, ha ah. And I mentioned it in, when I was showing the, the old art room down here and I was talking about like, maybe it could become the warehouse, the, the new warehouse. And I, I think I mentioned doing something with this cat tree. It's just kind of ugly. It's very dark. Like, I don't know why I got the black and white one. It's just, I should have gotten the lighter colored one, but I could 
you know, totally recover this and make it all cute and just like, I don't know, be a fun project. Just little things like that. I just have the itch to do all this now because of these YouTube channels. And I just want like intricate trimming on everything and like a fancy headboard and like cute patterned wallpapers in certain rooms and just... <laughs> So my brow pencil was running out and I bought a replacement one, not yesterday when I got groceries, but the time before. And they're super skinny little pencils and the cashier handed it directly to me after she scanned it so that I wouldn't lose it. And I swear I put it in my purse and now it's just gone. It's not in my purse. It's not anywhere. I've searched everywhere. I've searched my purse five times and now I just don't have my brow pencil. And that was the last one that they had. So now I don't have a brow pencil. I should have looked again yesterday, but I just didn't really think of it. Plus I've just been using this eyeshadow now with a brush, which honestly kind of works. I like how soft it looks compared to a pencil. Like the pencil, you gotta be careful. This, you kind of just, this color could be like a touch darker. I really have to cake it on just to try to get some color on my brow. I do have some darker colors, but they're like way dark. It's like danger zone when I try to use those with my brows. So this has been working. There's a comparison, one filled, one not filled. Just feel like putting a little bit of effort into my appearance today. Well, the makeup I do every day, I guess. Well, most days, not every day. <laughs> not yesterday. The hair is just thrown up in an ugly bun. I mean, it's kind of cute, but it's like, <clears throat> I think it's mostly the clothes. The clothes are helping me feel a little more put together because I'm wearing my leggings, which Yes, for me, are considered dressing up. <laughs> I'm not in like sweatpants today. <sighs> not like I'm going anywhere though. Like with the lockdown, I've, I haven't been wearing any of my nicer clothes because it's like, why? I'm not going anywhere. Don't always want to put as much effort into my hair and stuff because again, like I'm not going anywhere. To me, this is considered semi-fancy, this pushing dress. <laughs> it's, like fucking, it's like a pushing sweater dress and I'm like, well, Based on current standards, this is kind of dressing up for me. It's comfy though, good, good lounge wear still because it's so comfy. Oh yeah, another thing I want, just like a bunch of floral dresses and like olden day dresses. <laughs> Can I swap out my entire wardrobe for like an olden day wardrobe? <laughs> okay, all done. He wants pets, he wants pets. As soon as she saw me, she did a little head first dive into the rug. Yes. Do you want to live in a chateau? Minus. Maybe we do call this Chateau Brazil. Don't we? Not named by us. Wait, who was it? Was it Susie who first called this Chateau Brazil? Uh, I think so. I think it might have been. Look, we have this grand fireplace and this Cogsworth <laughs> antique from 2017. <laughs> Maybe 2016, actually. Who knows? <laughs> Very ancient. We have this rat, an ancient tapestry. <laughs> Another ancient tapestry. <laughs> oh, the plant just makes it feel so lively and with the fruit. Yes. Christian was like, oh, you look cute. Are you live streaming? I was like, no, maybe I should. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I will. Cause then I can just be gross tomorrow. I really have no other plans. We are having like a, a group video chat later tonight, but that's not till later. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I do just want to play Animal Crossing, so might as well live stream it. I need to get some food first though. I haven't eaten. I mean, it's still the morning, I think. Well, oh, hell, it's still the morning for five minutes. Kiki, do I want a cute country cottage kitchen or chateau fancy? Oh, we have this ancient china from Lake Louise and Victoria Glacier. Whoa. Fine bone china, England. England? Oh, oh, and we have this. Stuttgart. These are from Christian's grandparents. They, uh, they were downsizing and were uh, getting rid of a bunch of their stuff. That's also where all these teacups and saucers came from. Well, not the Beauty and the Beast ones. <laughs> and not that one. That one, can't remember where I got that. Just some of the many treasures you'll find here at Chateau Brazo. And look at this treasure. Whoa. And this treasure. Whoa. 
Okay, I'm just setting up for the stream. I keep getting distracted by more Chateau videos. <laughs> See, Stephanie was 29 when she got hers. I'm 29. I can speak French. Let's go. Let's go. Let's buy a Chateau in France. <laughs> Any Chateaus around here for cheap in the Vancouver area? <laughs> See, the sad thing about North America is like... We don't have all these ancient castles and stuff. There's some stuff, but not much. Just have to build a castle. I've, I've said this for years to Christian. I was like, we need a house that looks like a castle on the outside. Just like a regular sized house, but looks like a castle. Like give it a little tower and have it look like it's made of stone. <laughs> and every time we see a house with a tower or turret, I'm like, whoa, look. <laughs> This has been a long time dream of mine, but now it's it's getting worse watching these videos. We just gotta custom build one, that's all. Got all my windows organized, just gotta open OBS. Oh, my switch is not in here, kinda need that. Okay, it's almost six o'clock, I just ended the stream. It was a little over five hours long and got a lot of stuff done around my island and then I was trying to reorganize my Animal Crossing house cause the kitchen was in the front room but I'm moving it to the back room so I got the kitchen moved. And then I'm trying to figure out what I want for my living room and it was a bunch of indecisiveness going back and forth and like, cause I know I want floral wallpaper and I love the ones that have wood at the bottom. And so there's this green one with light wood which is so reminiscent of calico critters and I keep wanting it but also not wanting it because I don't, the, the wood is like, it's, it's more of like a medium wood, not a light wood. It's like a medium, very orangey wood. And I'm like, that's not this character's house's aesthetic. like. I should be going with something with a white wood base or something. And so there is the same pattern with a white wood base, but it's blue floral. And I'm like, am I willing to accept the blue floral? And then I was like, okay, well this blue floral wall has blue gingham curtains. So I was making a blue gingham pattern, but now I'm like, you know what? We should ignore the curtains and just do floral patterns in here. And I'm just, I'm all over the place. And what's my secondary accent, accent color? Do I want yellow? Cause it was going to be pink and yellow in there. But now instead I'm doing like, I was gonna do green and yellow with the green wall, and I was in blue and yellow. Is it gonna be blue and pink? Blue, yellow, and pink? <sighs> Man, Animal Crossing is just so stressful. No. <laughs> anyway, I gotta make supper, and then we have our friend group chat at seven, so that's an hour away. So I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, one last thing. I know dandelions are supposed to be weeds, but like, isn't that cute? It's so cute. The grass and the fence and it's cute. Here on 96.9, oh the God. Rush. <laughs> this is your man, Randy the Rascal McCaskill. And we're gonna dive right into this hot new This goblet is just another relic of Chateau Brazo. <laughs> ancient artifact. For some reason everyone is wearing sunglasses and headbands. Although I don't have a headband. Well I do, but he's wearing it. <gasps> Low battery! And I already ended the vlog earlier, so it should have been ended before. Bye! Okay, I don't like this thing. I can use the spatula.